Hi there, this is Molly with Barnes Sewing Center bringing you this month's Foot of the Month video. Uh, for this month, we're doing the Juki straight stitch machines and um, we're doing the compensating foot and I'm using the left 1.5 millimeters. And we're also gonna be using the hinged zipper foot. So the hinged zipper foot is gonna be an extra narrow foot that allows us to attach zippers. And the compensating foot is gonna be wonderful when we go to top stitch our zipper. So with that said, let's get started. So today I am using the Juki TL18, which is of course a straight stitch only. It's a semi-commercial machine. Um, but this technique of course will work with um, any of the Juki straight stitch machines. So if you have a 2010 or a 2020, those will work as well. So what I'm gonna start with is our hinged zipper foot. So this is what it looks like out of the package. And you can see it's very narrow, quite a bit more than our standard presser foot, which is this one. So this hinged zipper foot is gonna allow us to place our zippers a lot more accurately. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on my machine using the same screw I use with all of my presser feet. There we go. And I'm gonna get started with my zipper. So I just have a basic seven inch zipper here and I am going to grab the fabric that I'll be using. So this is one side and this is the other and I am going to start by placing my fabric good sides together on the right hand side of the zipper. So aligning the edge of my fabric with the edge of the zipper. If I flip it over, you can see our zipper is face down, so teeth side down against our fabric and I just line up those edges and that is how I am going to sew. So I probably want to make sure that my pull is past the edge of my fabric. So I'm gonna raise that up a little bit and kind of sandwich it in between. So now I'm going to take it to my machine and I'm gonna sew down this edge using my hinged zipper foot. And you'll see it just barely goes on the outside edge of the teeth. And it lets you get right up close to the teeth of that zipper. There we go. So I just adjusted the camera angle here, but we are just gonna sew down the right-hand side of our zipper. Now, normally when we get to this point, I would have to worry because of my zipper pull. But because of this being the hinged zipper foot or the narrow zipper foot, I can very easily squeeze past the zipper pull. And don't have to worry about hitting it with my needle. Alrighty. So there we have the right side of our zipper sewn. And I could go to my iron and give that a good press to get a nice crisp seam, but I'm just gonna go ahead and finger press it. 
And now I'm gonna repeat the same exact process with my left hand piece. So right sides together, lining it up with the edge of my zipper, but this time the left hand edge. So if I flip that over, we have the left hand side of our zipper going up against the right hand side of that fabric. And I wanna take the time to line up my edges as well to make sure my two rectangular pieces are lined up. So there we go. I'm gonna take that back over to my machine And like I said before, we don't have to worry that we're right up against that zipper pull. Since we're using the narrow foot, I can get right up against it and not have to worry about hitting it with my needle. And I'm gonna sew down the second side of my zipper. So here's what it looks like from the wrong side. And then I can go ahead and open that up. And I can open that up and you see I have a nice even zipper all the way across and I can press that open. Now, what if I want to top stitch? Well, you can top stitch using the hinged zipper foot, which is this foot. However, I'm going to demonstrate another option. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the hinged zipper foot. And we are going to attach our compensating foot. So this foot is a little strange. It has a solid right hand or left hand finger, but the right hand finger can bend up and down. So what that means is we can use this on the edge of our fabrics to make sure we don't fall off that edge. And it's also a very nice, accurate seam guide. So this is what we'll use to do our top stitching for our zipper. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this on my machine. Alrighty, so we've got the compensating foot on our machine here. And you can see that finger allows it to move up and down freely. So what I can do is use that to my advantage if I want to top stitch. So I can place that right in the rut of the zipper and use that to get a really nice, clean, accurate top stitching right next to my zipper. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side. Simply rotating my fabric, placing it back underneath, and starting back up again. And 
and there we have it. Beautiful top stitching using that compensating foot. So whether you use the right hand or left hand compensating foot is just up to what types of projects you'll be doing. But that is your hinged zipper foot and the compensating foot for your Juki straight stitch machine. Thank you so much for joining us today and join us next month for a new foot of the month. Bye.